Well, everyone who wakes up in the morning knows about stress. There's good stress that we need. It's invigorating. Then there's the stress that makes you want to pull the covers back over your head and wish the day would just go away. That's the bad stuff that can really tie you up in knots inside, and we've all felt it. Well, author Sue Augustine, she has a secret, and she's here to share all with her latest book, Sanity Secrets for Stressed Out Women. Sue, welcome back to Full Circle. Thank you. It it's great to be back. Good to have you. You know, it is worth you. mentioning, Sue, that you were our very first guest on our very first <laughs> Full Circle show three years ago. Do you know, I was Ooh. just thinking about that, that I was the very first guest, had the honor of yeah. being and I guess I guess we didn't stress you out too much because you're back. <laughs> so This is my third time to come back. I know. Yeah. You just, I just keep hatching those books. I know. I know. One more. This is my seventh book. So oh, I think wow. I was here with When Your Past is Hurting Your Present. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that book is still doing so well worldwide. Mm -hmm. It's being translated into other languages. We get cards, letters, faxes, and email regularly. And then turn your dreams into realities. So I was kind of thinking about the progression. You know, you have to first get, get beyond the past mm -hmm. issues. And then you can turn your dreams into realities and when you do you have so much stress <laughs> you're overloaded because you're walking you're out those dreams oh no uh, because stress comes from positive events as well as yeah. you mentioned yeah. and mm -hmm. we can be living our dreams and still have stress in our life so i say to my husband all our pressures are within the realm of blessing yeah, yeah. That's so many good things to, to be busy with you yeah. know yeah. yeah to be to be grateful too um, is such a key in stress mm -hmm. survival is to look around at the things we have to be thankful for and you for. know what i think that's the message we all need to hear right now especially mm -hmm. during these really difficult days that worldwide we're experiencing yes. as a community. You know, women not only have never-ending to-do lists, hectic, crazy schedules, but we also have the concerns that come with what's going on globally right, right. now. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when you think about the word stress, it was actually originally, you don't like to say the word, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say it? No. One thing I... I I will never say is I'm too busy. You'll never hear me saying I'm too busy because I just don't believe in that. We're in control mm -hmm. of our schedules. But the word stress was actually an engineering term and it referred to the amount of pressure steel structures could withstand. Mm -hmm. That's where that word came from. Mm -hmm. And isn't that interesting that now today we are using that word to refer to our own lives. Mm -hmm. In other words, how much pressure can you mm -hmm. really withstand? But what I'm fascinated about, Sue, mm. is that in your book, and this actually kind of shocked me and then really convicted me, is that you say that 90% of the stress that I deal with is is the assessment, is my assessment and viewpoint of that circumstance. Mm -hmm. So it's actually mm. not the circumstance, it's how I think about the circumstance. Okay, that means then it's my responsibility. Oh, yes. It's not Peter's mm -hmm. or my family's mm -hmm. or my work. It's actually how I perceive Isn't something. Isn't that wonderful? <gasps> and in a way, that sets us free, doesn't it? it does. Because mm -hmm. we have the choice. The one and only thing over which God gave each of us 100% absolute total control over. There's only one thing we have control over, and that is our power to choose. And every day we're mm -hmm. making choices. And mm -hmm. so when stress comes into our life, if 90% of that stress comes from how we perceive the event or view the event, then I get to choose. Mm -hmm. Too often it's too easy for us to want to blame or point oh, yeah. the finger mm -hmm. or say, oh, if yeah. they would mm -hmm. change, if this were different, <laughs> if I worked for a different company, if I had a nicer boss, if I had a different spouse, mm -hmm. um, then I wouldn't be experiencing this stress. And that's really not the case. I but I think the challenge of that, oh, sorry, Anne, no, go ahead. is reflected in, in Paul's admonition to take every thought captive to make mm -hmm. it obedient to Christ, to bring it back to what you know for sure. And the, and it's the not automatic. You've got to reel it in. You have it. to take it. You yeah. have to do it. And the word take is an action word, word and it's a verb. Mm -hmm. And there are so many action scriptures in the Bible that mm -hmm. say, if you do this, then I will do that. But if it is to be, it is up to me. I've often said those are the ten most powerful two-lettered words in the English language. That, you know, um, sometimes we, we would rather say, well, if God wants it to be, it will be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if it's meant to be, it will happen. <clears throat> but really, it's up to me. Love your neighbor as yourself. Who gets to do the loving? Mm -hmm. um, be anxious for nothing. Who gets mm -hmm. to decide if you're going to be anxious? 
We have so many choices. So, well, why don't we want to take that responsibility on ourselves? Why do we want to say, oh, it's Moira, it's Bridget, it's Anne, and it not, it's not Melinda? Like, what is that in us that, and that's then, it causes me stress. Well, it's, it's, it does cause stress, and it's scary to take back 100% responsibility. But you know what? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and mm. so I can do that. Mm. And I, I think the different life stages that we're all in produce mm. their own set of stressful <laughs> circumstances. Right. Mm -hmm. I heard this week that uh, one of our favorite sisters, Tweety Bird, is going through a very difficult life stage right now. In fact, we have a picture of her. She's just turned 60. <laughs> and Tweety Bird looks like she's a little stressed out there at the, the knowledge that life is moving on. And, but the different life <laughs> stages can really catapult us into different mm. stressful situations. You know, a lot of us are in the sandwich life stage where yes. we've got the younger kids and we've got the parents. We've got parents as well. I, I liked your mid-yikes crisis uh, instead of a mid-life crisis. <laughs> mid-yikes. <laughs> One woman said to me, I'm absolutely positive that God is not a woman because no woman would give another woman teenagers and menopause at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, your book title is Sanity Secrets mm -hmm. for Stressed Out Women to energize and renew your life. So let's talk about some of these sanity secrets. Well, one of the, the starting places for dealing with stress is to recognize the symptoms of being in overstress. And you would think that we would all recognize them, that that would be natural. But often, we're going through stress, and we go back to blaming Melinda, as you said. Well, if he would change, if she would change, if this were different. But some of the symptoms are lack of enjoyment, where you just don't have any um, joy or pleasure in life anymore. Do you all remember Saturday mornings when you were a kid, that, mm -hmm. that thrill of getting up in the morning, when you just don't have that anymore, when you wish you could pull the covers over your head? Um, another symptom is being prone to illness, where you're picking up the latest flu and the latest bug mm -hmm. and the latest uh, whatever is going around. And that can lead to more serious uh, situations as well. Um, feeling um, a lack of confidence where you, you, do, you don't feel capable of making decisions, of making choices. Uh, sleeplessness. Did you know there are sleep clinics popping up all over yeah. North America wow. right now? More and more people on machines mm -hmm. to get yes. through the night. To get mm -hmm. through the night. And insomnia is a major, major issue. And um, it, often we can go to sleep all right because we're totally exhausted but an hour later we wake right up mm -hmm. in bed if you've ever had that happen when you're under pressure and then we start playing games with ourselves and saying you know if I fall asleep right now within, within the next few minutes yeah. I will still get three and a half yeah, hours Yeah, you do sleep. the math in your oh, head yeah. don't we you? Do. Start yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got three hours to go so okay go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep right now we give the order we yeah. give the command and, yeah. and so we need to recognize those symptoms and then instead of um, in, in the workshop that I do based on the book, I'll read through all the symptoms and ask how many have these. Well, most everybody has at least one, if not all. And then instead of throwing in the towel and saying, whoa, I guess I've gone over the deep end with mm -hmm. this, you know, I've totally lost it. Use those symptoms as signals. That is God speaking to you, saying things are not right in your life. It is time to make some changes. Mm. Um, I remember one time when I was on um, my first book speaking tour and book signing tour, I had I found out I had to have a little dental surgery and it was going to keep me off the road for about a week. So I, I had booked this months ahead. I went back on the road to do my tour and I found myself counting down the days until <laughs> dental surgery. Oh, wow. oh, no. <laughs> because it was going to mean a week off. Mm. You know, and I thought, wait a minute, things have gone too far <laughs> when I'm actually going three more days till dental <laughs> surgery. <laughs> now, um, one thing that you mentioned in your book that I thought was so interesting. You say that women like to be CEOs in their life, and that stands for Chief Everything Officer. Yes, <laughs> that is so true. We have, and especially as Christian women, mm. and we have taken the verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and we've turned it into, I must do all things and be all things to all people mm -hmm. at all times. Mm -hmm. um, someone left a little letter on my podium one time after a speaking engagement, and it said, Dear Sue, you are not absolutely totally responsible for taking care of everybody and everything at all times. That is my job. Love God. Mm. Wow. Wow. Isn't that powerful? Mm -hmm. So I try to no. keep that in front of me. Because we do feel responsible. We feel responsible for our adult children, for our sister, for um, our husbands. Uh, we take on that responsibility and we think if I don't do it, it it's all going to fall through. Mm -hmm. and we, 
Yeah. And I was going to say, because as you were talking about this, I was thinking um, in your book too, you've got a lot about coping mechanisms. And I have to tell you this. So I was very stressed out yesterday. I had a really stressful day. And I was reading through your book. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to apply these things to my life. So, well, the first thing that happened is a friend of mine stopped by work and we had a laughing fit. And one of your coping mechanisms is humor and laughter, that yeah. we need yeah. to laugh more. And that's why I, I try to have a life where I laugh a lot because it really does change your outlook. So I had a really good laughing fit in the parking lot here at Crossroads. Well, but then, did you know that smiling, I, smiling, smiling so increases smiling. the blood flow to yeah. your brain? It you may does. not have a big thing bubbling up in here, but if you just smile, Sue, I did not know that. So we need to just keep doing this. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just be like this. <laughs> the whole time.